Welcome to SPOT, the shared portal for outbreak tracking. The goal of the shared portal for outbreak tracking, SPOT, is to expand California's contact tracing efforts by facilitating collaboration and sharing of information between workplaces and local health departments, LHDs, through CalConnect, California's public health contact tracing and data management system. SPOT is a secure system for workplace liaisons to easily enter key information about workers who were involved in a COVID-19 exposure, also referred to as an exposure event, at their workplace. Once recorded in SPOT, this information is sent to CalConnect, where an investigator from the local health department will review the information and then use it to initiate important contact tracing efforts. As a SPOT user, you can view exposure events at your workplaces, enter information about cases and contacts involved in an exposure, export SPOT data, and view dashboards of information in SPOT. To get started using SPOT, open the account setup email you received after talking to your local health department. This email contains a link that will allow you to set your SPOT password. It also contains your SPOT username and a link to SPOT that you can bookmark to come back to in the future. Click the link in the email and set your SPOT password. Then log into SPOT with that password and the username contained in the email. Once you've logged in, you'll see the home page. Here you can see an overview of SPOT and buttons taking you to the main sections of SPOT. First, there's View Exposure Events. Navigate to this section by clicking the View Exposure Events button on the home page or the link at the top of any page. In this section, you can view all exposure events at all workplaces that you're associated to. Exposure events are used to track the spread of COVID-19 between multiple individuals in one space at a certain point in time. You will need to know the exposure event record number in order to enter information in SPOT about individuals who were involved in a COVID-19 exposure at one of your workplaces. Take note of the status of exposure event column. If an exposure event is in closed status, you will not be able to enter information related to that exposure. To view more details about a specific exposure event, click the number in the exposure event column. To go back, use the back button on your browser or simply click view exposure events. The next section is enter information for an existing exposure. In this section, you can complete a form with key information about individuals who are involved in a COVID-19 exposure at one of your workplaces. You can also view information entered in SPOT for one of your workplaces. To enter in new information about an individual involved in an exposure at one of your workplaces, select the New button on the right-hand side of the page. Select the radio button according to whether the individual is a COVID-19 case someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, or a COVID-19 contact, anyone the case has come in close contact within six feet for a cumulative 15 minutes or more, two days prior to symptoms beginning, or two days prior to test date if no symptoms. Note that the information collected for cases and contacts will be slightly different. Click Next. In the Exposure Event field, enter the exposure event number provided to you by the local health department, or select it from the menu that opens. On the rest of the form, enter information for the individual. Required fields are marked with the red asterisk. Your local health department may also ask you to complete specific fields that may not be required on the form. If you have lab result information about an individual, you can include those details. Once finished, if you have more individuals you would like to enter, click Save and New to open a new form. If you are finished entering individuals altogether, click Save. You can always come back to the Enter Information for an Existing Exposure section and add additional people. After clicking Save, you will see a summary view of the last form you completed. Click Enter Information for an Existing Exposure to return to the list of all information entered in SPOT. This list will show you information that you or other liaisons have entered. If you need to send an update or correct data for an individual, do not submit a new case or contact entry form. Instead, 
Click the number in the Spot Case and Contact Number column next to the individual's name. Then, click the Send Update button. A form will open where you can leave a comment about the update. For example, you entered their phone number incorrectly or the individual recently had a positive test result. Once you're finished, click Save. To view all updates for this individual, click the related link below. The next section is Export Data. In this section, you can download and export of data entered in SPOT in CSV format. You have the option to download data based on location, exposure event, only your data, or all data entered in SPOT for locations you are associated to. The next section is Summary Dashboard. In this section, you can view summary data about information entered in SPOT for your workplaces. You can see the total number of cases and contacts, cases and contacts grouped by exposure event, cases and contacts grouped by the liaison who entered them, and cases and contacts grouped by their occupation. The last section is Help and Support. This section includes answers to frequently asked questions and a link to this YouTube video.